Hi, my name is Makumba Gerard of Edimath. In this video, we are going to see how to find the kth root of a number n using the newton rafton method. But before we go into for it, subscribe to Edimath such that you can be notified of our new videos that we make every day. So let us get straight into it. Let's have a recap of newton rafton as a method. We know that if xn plus 1 is a beta root this is equal to xn minus fxn divided by f derivative of xn where n is equal to 0 1 2 3 and they continue now this here is the newton raphson's formula and we have got to use this to find the kth root of any number let us have a guiding question here. The kth root of a number n. They are saying using Newton Raphson's method, show that the formula for solving the kth root of a number n is given by. So we have to show this. And later on, we shall use uh, this equation here or this formula which we shall have come up with to find this roman part a is the sixth root of 125 correct to three decimal places let's get started let the kth root of a number capital n be equal to x so that we have n power one all over k is equal to x powering both sides by k we shall have n is equal to x power k this is the same as x power k minus n giving us zero again and again we say let f x be equal to zero such that f of x is equal to x power k minus capital n so from here we can be able to get f n x can be able to get this part here this part here f n x and this is from newton raphson's method so uh, let's have that f n f x n is now equal to x n power k minus capital n and from this continuous function this has been now discretized from this continuous function we can be able to get f derivative of x so when you differentiate this we drop a k uh, x power we reduce the k pi by one which so have k minus one out of this we can be able to get f derivative x n which is equal to k x n k minus one so from here after obtaining the two functions we are now going to substitute them in the newton raphson's formula so x n plus one is now equal to x n minus uh, f x n is now this x n power k minus capital n divided by f derivative x n so this is k x n power k minus one now we are going to simplify this like that we have been simplifying in our previous uh, videos so we shall have here x n plus one being equal to um lcm is k x n k minus one so when you get the lcm here it is over one this divided by the one here we shall have to get k x n power k minus one time on this we shall have to get k x n power k k indices there uh -huh. minus this divided by the very one we shall have to get one one time on that we shall have to get x x n power k plus capital n so this here we are now going to factorize out the common factor here okay so we shall have to get k minus one to bracket pull out the common factor here x power k plus this is gonna be uh, capital n next i'm going to distribute the denominator in the denominators de so this is going to be k minus one x this is x n power k divided by k x n k minus one 
plus capital N divided by K x n k minus 1 so that's what we have next we are going to use indices on the second one here and the first part here so here we shall have to get k minus 1 all over k indices comes in x power k n power k times when this goes up the power will become a negative this here so you shall have x n uh, now 1 minus k it has left now the bottom going up power becomes a negative plus capital n all over k x n k minus 1 so that's what we have we are going to work on this same base what shall we do to the powers we shall add so when you add the powers here you remain with the x n the k's we cancel out so we shall have k minus 1 times x n this here over k plus capital n all over k x n k minus 1 next i'm going to uh, we need to show this so that means i'm going to pull out 1 over k which is the common factor there in the denominator so k here is a common factor i'm gonna pull it out so i will have 1 all over k into bracket 1 over k is out that means i remain with k minus 1 xn plus k is out 1 over k so i'll remain with n divided by x n k minus 1 so let's check the equation given to us yes we have now got this for values of n which are small n is equal to 0 1 2 and 3 they continue so this is our better approximation of finding the kth root of any number so let's try out we we are now going to use this formula to find the 60th root of 125 so when you try to compare this here this here and this you realize that our k is 6 our n is 125 that is basically what we have to do and perhaps we have because we are required to find the 60th root we have to find the initial approximation from this where it lies then you have also to get the dig the maximum possible error based on the degree of assurance given here which is three decimal places so let's try that and see it's here so they need us to find the 60th root of 125 to 3 this is part a 3dps so our capital n is 125 our now k is equal to 6 now we need to discover where the 60th root of 125 lies okay so the 60th root of 125 lies between 2 and 3 60th root of 125 yes the 60th root of 125 lies between 2 and 3 how do you get this 2 and 3 you just get your calculator then you try to press the 60th root it will give you a certain value in the calculator so this value lies between two hollow numbers so this here is two point something this means that two point something is a value that is between two and three that's the only hint of getting these two values here okay so uh, let's proceed and get the initial approximation to our root which is x naught so this is going to be the average of the two so we shall have two plus three divided by two so x naught here is uh, 2.5 that is our x naught now we substitute in we need to start with when n is equal to zero and small n is equal to zero we shall have to get uh, x1 giving us 1 all over k but k is now 6 into brackets now k which is 6 minus 1 here we shall have to get 5 our xn is now 2.5 our x naught x naught because n is 0 here plus capital n is now 125 all over x naught smaller n is 0 now and k is 6 so this will be power 5 so we are going to substitute in 
our x naught which is uh, 2.5 so x1 will be 1 all over 6 into bracket 5 times 2.5 plus 125 divided by 2.5 power 5 so this here when you press very well on your calculator we shall have to get so here we get 2.29 67 this is the four dps and this here is x1 now we forgot to compute the standard maximum error supposed to was supposed to be at this point because the error is the only thing that can allow us to proceed so the maximum possible error is equal to a half times 10 power negative 3 they say to three decimal places so this here is the same as 0 0.0005 so this here is our maximum possible error that we need the answer to have so now before we continue we have to check on the error so error is equal to we have x1 minus x naught now x1 is 2.2967 minus 2.5 under magnitude so this gives us 0 0.2033 this here is far big compared to the maximum possible error so that means we should continue n is equal to it was a zero now it's now one here we are going to get x2 x2 being equal to one all over six k is still six those are constants five now x1 plus 125 all over x1 power five so let's substitute there x1 we shall have 1 over 6 into bracket 5 times 2.2967 plus 125 divided by 2.2967 power 5. Power 5. So when you compute a very well on the calculator, x2 will be 2.2. 399 so that is our x2 before we continue we check on the error our error is now going to be x2 minus x1 so this here is 2.2399 minus x1 which is 2.2967 under magnitude so when you subtract we shall have to get 0 0.0 568 this still is greater than the maximum possible error which is 0 0.005 this tells us that we must go to when n is equal to 2 and we substitute in the other formula so x when n is equal to 2 we shall have to get 3 x is 3 equal to 1 over 6 into bracket uh, this here is now 5 x 2 plus 125 all over x2 power 5 so this here let us substitute 1 over 6 to bracket 5 times x2 uh, which is 2.2399 plus 125 divided by x2 which is 2.2399 power 5 so this here when you simplify x3 is now equal to this is 2.2361 again we have to check on the error so we have error is now going to be the magnitude of 2.2361 minus 2.2399 so when we subtract there we shall have 0 0.0038 still it is greater than the maximum possible error so that means we have to continue and find exit 4 when n is equal to now 3 so we shall have x4 giving us 1 over 6 into bracket we shall have 5 x3 now plus 125 all over x3 power 5 okay so let us substitute in x3 and we shall have to compute x4 which will be equal to 
2.2361 so we are going to get the error you can see that this here x4 is equal to x3 so the error is going to be 0 because we are going to get x4 minus x3 0 and 0 is less than the maximum possible error there is no error so that means we have to make a conclusion about the 60th root of 125 and this here therefore the 60th root of 125 is equal to they needed this to be to three decimal places so this is 2.236 three decimal places so that is where we end and this here is the sixth root of 125. Now I urge you to go ahead and do part B and part in the same. Please, uh, you can play back the video, then you keep on following like that. All right, so we have come to the end of today's lesson in this video. Subscribe to EduMath such that you can receive the videos that we shall be uploading here every day so share with your friends and have a good time